what is going on? Wait, hold up, hold up. Let's get, let's not get that box. Okay, good to go. What's going on guys? Your boy Ray here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing great. Month number two, episode two months of COVID-19. It's getting hard, it's getting hard. One month was kind of cool. You know, everybody had an extended vacation, but now two months in and we don't know when we're gonna go back out is getting a little bit tough guys i've been trying to keep busy you know kind of working on different little projects but i was kind of reading up on the news and just checking like when are we going to be able to get out and right now we don't know i'm trying to stay sane working on more videos for you guys but hope you guys are doing great you know hope everybody's healthy and uh you know just being productive during these hard times very random doesn't have nothing to do with today's video but i kind of wanted to know what are you guys listening to in terms of music right now i've really been into west side gun uh, he just kind of dropped a album called Pray for Paris. And I was discussing with some of my boys and we were just talking about how West Side Gun really brings that New York sound back with the ba -ba -ba booms and all that stuff. And I was kind of telling one of my friends that, you know, the way that I see West Side Gun is if like a Timberland boot would rap. He basically sounds like a rapping Timberland boot, if that makes any sense. Anyways, very random. So let me know what you guys listen to. I've been heavy on some West Side Gun. Let's get to the video. All right, so for today's video, we will be doing something very fun. But normally at the end of the second month, what I do is I do a pickups video. And if anybody's new to the channel, the way that I set up these videos is that I do them on a bi-monthly basis. And that way I'll have more time to gather more items. And then I do have more stuff to showcase when I do these videos. It's kind of like a weird situation going on right now. Earlier this March, I was, you know, just kind of doing my regular pickups and things like that. But when we got the news that New York was on full lockdown, I kind of slowed down buying items um, just because like, I don't know, it's just like a weird time. And the last thing that I'm thinking about is to, you know, make more purchases. Uh, but the stuff that I did pick up are items that I've first wanted for a very long time or a second is like homies have their brands and kind of sent me their items. So I'll be adding them into this video, which I'm very excited to show it to you guys. Done with the rambling. Let's get into the video with my pickups of the month of March and April. Let's get it, let's go. Commencing the video, let's begin with tops. And for the very first two items, they will both be from my homies' respective brands. Firstly, we have is Boy Blondie, which is the sweater featured right here. And as far as details go, this is simply a heavyweight heather gray sweatshirt with the screen print in the middle. And a reoccurring theme for this brand is the Bulldog, which is the mascot or the emblem for the brand. And chopping it up with the homie, he kind of explained to me that with this collection, as this is his first one, he wanted to bring basics with more of like a ivy league look to it hence the reason this particular crew neck does have a vintage georgetown look to it which i absolutely love while editing the video i completely forgot to implement the tote bag so right here you can see that it's just a simple cotton canvas tote bag with once again the bulldog and the boy blondie and more of a cursive font so these are the two items from his brand once we jump over to bottoms i will be showcasing off the sweatpants but besides that, let's jump over to our next item. All right, so for item number two, once again, we do have a crew neck, but this one is from the homie Will. I'm not entirely sure if he has a name for the brand or he's kind of just releasing it under his own name. But looking at this sweater right here, it does absolutely have a beautiful color, more of like a washed brown, which I don't surprisingly have in my closet. So this is a welcome addition. Going over to the chest area, there is simply the Sparks Auto Shop with the Beamer in the middle and New York in the bottom. It's a very simple, clean crew neck. The weight of this is more of like a light to middle weight, which is perfect for the spring summer season. So I will definitely be wearing this throughout the summertime. I'm not even gonna lie, it's kinda cool to see your friends create their own garments and for it being their very first drops, I'm very excited to see what they cook up in the near future. With all that being said, let's jump over to our next item. All right, so for our next item right here, we simply have a Carhartt chore jacket. It firstly does have the blanket lining on the inside, but the fit of it and the model, I'm not sure the exact name. Compared to the Detroit jacket, this is much more longer. The pocket placement is reminiscent to like a French workwear jacket, which I really, really like. The color itself is more of like a washed navy blue. There is a beautiful chest embroidery that says the night we never met in red. And it kind of has like two boats kind of passing each other, which I really like. 
corduroy detailing on the neck. Unfortunately, the weather is kind of heating up right now. And because this jacket has the blanket lining, it's extremely hot. So I will definitely have to put this back in the closet until the fall time. This was initially purchased in early March. So I was able to wear it for a couple weeks, but I'm just like sweating in this right now. So I would have to kind of put it on the back burner for a while, but I really do love this piece. Other than that, beautiful details. It kind of has like the distressing on the arms and a little bit on the bottoms. Besides that, let's keep it moving. All right, so now that we are done with tops, let's jump over to bottoms. And coming right back to Boy Blondie, this is their all over print sweatpants. The weight and fabric is exactly the same as the sweatshirt, but when it comes to designs, it does have like a sporadic look to it with the Boy Blondie and Bulldog logo kind of pasted around the entire pant. For me, when it comes to sweatpants, I kind of like to keep it fairly simple, but at least having one, I guess, out there piece is a welcome addition. So yes, boy blondie sweatpants, let's keep it moving. So for our next item right here, we have the J95 sweatpants from Jound in the olive green colorway. So you guys already know when it comes to Jound, everything is pretty simplistic. Uh, but this color right here, you guys know that I am a huge olive green guy. So when John released, I guess, teasers of the kind of simple uniform with this hoodie and sweatpants, I had to get it. I was initially gunning for the hoodie and sweatpants, but when they released it on the website, the sweatpants had completely sold out. So I decided to just get the hoodie. And I think like a couple minutes later, they redropped the sweatpants. So after the fact, I went ahead and ordered these sweats and then my hoodie order got canceled and all this headache. So right off the bat, just ordering from john.com is a little bit of a headache to be quite honest. But anyways, let's get into the sweatpants themselves. Let me talk about details. So going over details, this features a 14 ounce heavyweight cotton in the olive green colorway. And one thing that I have to say right off the bat is that I'm a little bit disappointed when it comes to the fabric itself. I was expecting it to be more of like the soft cotton similar to the J90 items, but this one definitely has a harsher touch. And to be quite honest with you guys, it kind of feels like LA Apparel, I'm not gonna lie. It does have the exact same, I guess, fabric and just the weight itself. So I won't be surprised if this was made in LA Apparel compared to where they make the J90 sweats. All this to say that when I finally got these sweatpants, I was kind of relieved to see that my hoodie got canceled because it was a hefty penny. It was, I think, 180 bucks for a simple hoodie with the John logo on the chest. Um, so not having or like them canceling my order isn't or wasn't really a bad thing after all. When it comes to the fit, it does have more of a relaxed fit to it. Normally I hover between a medium and large when it comes to bottoms. So this one has a little bit more of a baggy fit. Anyways, I am tired of saying the word sweatpants. So let's jump over to our next bottom. So for our last pair of trousers right here, we have the Isimiyaki on plissés in a beautiful forest green. When it comes to the model number, I'll give it to you guys right now. It is the JF132. And looking at the fit of this, it has more of like a, I guess, slimmer fit than my usual trousers. And I honestly don't mind. I've been eyeing this particular pair for about almost a year now and finally decided to pull the trigger when they went on sale. The forest green color is absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to wear it when we are finally able to go out. We're not going to talk too much about Isimiyaki en plissés as I do have a plethora of videos posted on my channel which I will be linking below but here it is the Isimiyaki en plissés in the forest green colorway. Let's move on to footwear. Okay so footwear we do have a couple sneakers, one pair of boot and some sandals. Let's run it. For sneaker number one, right here, we have the Jordan 5s in the Fire Red colorway. This is the 2013 edition. I'm fully aware of the fact that they released the 2020 variant with the Nike Air on the back, but I like the shoe, but not enough to spend $200. So I decided to go on the aftermarket and kind of look for a used pair. And I actually came up with this pair, which cost me a whopping $30 shipped, which in my opinion is an absolute steal. 
Obviously, the shoe is heavily worn. There is yellowing around the netting and the outsole. Shoes are heavily scuffed and there is creases, but in my opinion, these are gonna be worn as beaters, so I really don't mind. One thing that I can say is that the leather feels very cheap and just super stiff, but again, $30 shoe, can't really argue with that. Let's keep it moving. All right, so for our next sneaker right here, we have the Jordan 1's Metallic Greens, codename Do The Right Things, and these were released in 2009. So I've been looking for this particular shoe for quite a while, and obviously I'm not gonna be getting the OGs, which cost an exorbitant amount of money, so I decided to go for this one. As to my knowledge, I don't think they re-released these besides the 2009 pair, um, so yeah, that's pretty much my best bet. The color is absolutely beautiful. I love the metallic green, but the one inconvenience that I would say is that the quality isn't that great. The leather itself has that overly tumbled look to it. It also feels very plasticky and it's just very stiff. Just wearing it a couple times, I can already notice the leather kind of peeling off, which is quite a bummer. But, uh, you know, hopefully in the near future, they re-release these with, you know, just better quality. Uh, but the color is absolutely great. So yes, metallic green ones. Let's keep it moving to our next pair. All right, so for sneaker number two right here, we have the Sale Jordan 1s. This color right here, I've been on the hunt for such a long time. I would always come across this sneaker, but not in my size. So finally, after probably a year of searching, I was able to get my size. Compared to the metallic ones that we just went over, the quality on this is absolutely great. The leather is soft and supple and is a huge contrast to the previous sneaker we just showed. Pretty much like all my sneakers at the moment, I bought this on the secondary market and the original owner didn't have the second pair of sale laces. So he shipped it out to me with the mismatched laces. The sale Jordan ones in my opinion is one of my favorite colorways. And I remember back in the day, these just sitting at outlets. And I believe the resale right now is north of $300 for a, I guess, used pair. Uh, so I'm very excited and just happy to own these. All right, nothing much more to say about these sneakers. These are just Jordan 1's sale colorway. Let's keep it moving. All right, next item. This is one of my more recent purchases and is the Yeezy Slides in the Earth Brown colorway. So this is my very first Yeezy product and I was kind of on the hunt for a slipper to just to kind of wear around the house and I really did like this colorway. When it comes to details, this is pretty much just a foam slide with the toothed bottoms. I went ahead and got a size 10 and one thing that I would put out there is maybe for sizing go half a size up as the size 10 fits a little bit tight on me as the front of the sandal is a little bit narrow. But despite that, I am very content with my purchase. The retail price is about $55, which doesn't break the bank at all. And it's just a perfect, I guess, house slipper. We did release two other variants. There is the resin, which is kind of like a green and the light bone. But my favorite hands down has to be the earth tone. And I guess it's just the more wearable of the other two. Continuing on to our next slide, right here we have the Vism Crystals in the all black colorway. I've been on the hunt for a pair of just classic and plain Vism Crystals for a couple years now, and I just couldn't bring myself to pay the hefty retail price. However, you know, I was fortunate enough to get this at an absolute steal, and I'm very happy to own these. Right, so quickly going over details, this is the classic crystal sandals from Vism, which feature the slip on style with the strappy design, open toe, the buckles, you already know how it goes. And finally, these sandals do feature the heavy duty Vibram outsole. So yes, classic Vism crystals in the all black colorway, which are now my everydays and sandals of choice. Let's keep it moving to our final item. All right, so for our very last item, we have a pair of boots from, I guess, a ex-fellow YouTuber, Avery, and his newly created brand called Ground Cover, which is the Eight-Eyed Boots. I kind of talked about this slightly on my channel, but I'm selling off a lot of sneakers and just really keeping things that I like, and I'm on the hunt for the perfect pair of combat boots. I do, however, own the pair of St. Laurent's, but I wanted something a little bit more rugged, and I feel like this pair could be it. 
Let's go over details. This entire boot is made from agricultural waste. Avery said that the upper is comprised of pineapple material, which is incredible. The top portion of the boot does have a cracked appearance. In addition, the item features a heavy duty lug sole that is attached with a repairable Goodyear welt, wax cotton laces with steel aglets, also a EO Keo Tex, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but 100% certified microfiber lining, removable cork. So, so to summarize all the details above, the brand is implying that the boot is 100% free from animal products. I didn't want to do a review as soon as I got these in hand as I really want to put these through the test and just kind of wear them out for the next month or so, giving you guys, I guess, my honest opinions on the boots. And I'm also curious to know how well the upper holds up as, you know, it's pineapple, it's a very soft material and just compared to leather, like, you know, how the wear and tear will be when I really put these through the ringer. In terms of sizing, I would say stick true to size. I went ahead and grabbed a 43, which is kind of like a 10, 10 and a half, and it fits absolutely perfect for me. These are surprisingly extremely comfortable. And I know when it comes to purchasing brand new boots, normally you have to kind of break them in, uh, but I was able to just wear these comfortably as soon as I got them. So yeah, besides that, I will be doing a one to two month kind of like video, just reviewing these and kind of giving you guys my overall thoughts and if they are worth it. All right, guys, we are at the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed my pickups for the months of March and April. Let's jump over to our outro. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, definitely make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so whenever I drop a brand new video, you'll be updated. I don't know why I'm thinking of some random stuff. Follow your boy on Instagram at Mia. That's gonna be like my mood board. So I got fit pics, sneaker pics, all that, you know, just kind of like everything that I wanna post. I just kind of post it on Instagram. If you guys have any questions whatsoever about any items from this video, you can hit me down in the comments down below. Besides that, thank you so, so much for watching. So I was thinking about doing for the next video, something along the lines as showcasing off maybe five of my favorite brands right now and kind of talk about each one in details probably that or kind of maybe a deep dive on one specific brand i'll kind of figure out everything anyways when that's going to be posted you will know i'm out of here i gotta edit this video see you guys next time peace